are watching Access LaPorte County, Channel 97. Coming up next is the October 24, 2022 meeting of the Michigan City Licensing Board. You can find more information for this meeting by visiting www.accesslaportecounty.org. All right, looks like we've got a quorum. We'll soon find out. We're going to open this meeting up and ask for a roll call of the members. All right. Joe Clark. Here. Hashem Khalil. Here. Mark Benicio. Here. Pastor Carroll is not here. So that is our. And Pastor Oh, sorry, Dwayne. Girls. Okay, yes, yeah, so we have a forum that will continue on the meeting. The first order of business is best your approval of the minutes from our previous meeting. So moved. Second, what we made, seconded. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. All right, <clears throat> old business. I think the only thing under old business could be that copy that yeah. letter. Yeah. So he came back with us with more letters. Yes, the third one. I have it. You remember Wolverine Electric uh, came up with letters that didn't quite meet the qualifications. Tuesday construction. Read that one last time. Unless he's calling this one. Yeah, sure. Because this is the, this was an urgent. Okay, all right. All right. That is simple letter handle. I don't know what you guys think. Um, September 26th, uh, dear sir, madam, Zachary Dunn Durham, and I have known each other going on for 10 years. I've met him. When we worked as electricians, I now have the pleasure of calling him my friend as well as former colleague. He's intelligent, enthusiastic, and determined person. And my family and I are always happy to be in his company. He has my full support in his future endeavors, and I'd be happy to provide more evidence of his qualifications if necessary. Uh, kind regards, Ryan Mitchell. Who was that application for? I'm sorry. Re renew one. This, this application was for Wolverine Electrical, Zachary Dern. Okay. Uh, and I think so we now have the three letters. Our problem was one of his letters was for Wolverine, which wasn't quite copacetic. Right. So I'll make a motion to to approve. A second. Motion been made. Second. Any questions? If not, all in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. It's still old business. You chair, my chair. Was somebody else? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm afraid to move. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Any other old business? If not, we'll move into new business. We have an application here. <clears throat> um, Edwards Engineering Incorporated, Thomas Bender, Elk Grove Village, uh, HVAC contractor, license. He has paid his money. He has taken the master mechanical um, exam. He took it in just a week or two ago, so he passed. The ICC, he's got a couple letters here. Um, HP Engineering, I've worked, oh, it's bad, bad print here. I've worked with Tom Bender for several years on a wide variety of projects. In every case, he was extremely knowledgeable and conducted himself in a professional manner. His work has always been accurate and complete. I have been extremely satisfied with the results. Uh, Raymond Collins, Professional Engineer of HP Engineering. Uh, Air Products Incorporated, um, to whom may concern, I've worked with Tom Bender for 10 years, recommend Tom for obtaining a contractor's license in the city, Michigan City. His strong leadership, professionalism, strong work ethic, make him an asset in completing projects in a happy and a timely manner. Um, I'm happy to give you my endorsement to all the contractors license in Michigan City. Uh, Michael Corzan, Outside Sales Air Products. Matic Industries of Bensonville, Illinois. 
My name is Matthew Maddock. I'm president of Maddock Industries, and I'm ready to provide my official endorsement for Tom Bender as rule of licensed contractor. Um, as Tom's colleague for over 10 years, I can attest to his skills and character. He has a wide range of experience in all aspects of HVAC design installation. I can rely on him to provide ethical behavior when confronted with conflicting situations. I believe he's a great candidate for licensed contractor. Sincerely, Matthew Medic, president of Medic Industries Incorporated. He's got a certificate of insurance and he has passed the master's test. Motion he passes for seconds. Most debate seconder for him to be coming to get his license. Any questions? If not, all in favor. Aye. Aye. So moved. That takes care of that. Um, any other new business? Public comment. That's, yes. I think, where you would fall into. Um, let's state your name. And... Name's Corey Castro. Uh, we are applying for uh, electrical license in Michigan City. Um, <clears throat> currently licensed with NSR Electric, but um, due to going through a divorce, I am switching companies to NC Star. So I was hoping to get my license transferred from one company to the other. Um, we we were told by them that we needed to come here in front of you guys and, and plead our case because my test that I took was uh, three months past the three year mark of, for the cutoff. So I was coming to uh, see what we could do about getting licensed. So you're, you're, you were currently uh... You're, ho you're holding the license yourself personally, yeah. but you're working for another company? Yeah. It should just follow his, I thought that would just follow you. We've been through this before where the, the license is to the person, to the not, person not, not to the company. So what is your did, license? Did, did you read up your license? With, yeah, your license? I'm currently up to date. Yeah. Up to date right now? Yep. You have been since January 1? Yeah. Yeah, for the last three years, I've been a licensed contract partner. I guess I'm With not NSR. following the request though. Not, I'm sorry. They see, they were unable to to move it over to the new company, the NC Star. Oh, because so of you're the, switching the companies, but the your license is current. Yeah, yeah. And we've had a discussion before. That we we always said that the license falls a yeah. person, not commerce. Yeah. Right. So, and so yeah. yeah, and I agree with what you're saying. Yeah. I just don't know why the city said something about his test mm -hmm. as long as he's current. Yeah, I don't know if there was a misunderstanding with them as so you, what we were trying to do. You're yeah. currently licensed yourself, but you're yeah. but but it was the name was the, the company you work for is using your license because it's under your name, right? right. Yeah. Just yeah, because I'm the one to take the test. It's all under. Yeah. As long name, as you're so. current and you and you didn't ex, your license hasn't expired in Michigan City, there's not a problem. Yeah, because because on the flip side of that, we talked about if somebody left, like if you left them, they no longer have a license. Right. Right. But right. the NSR has yeah. no longer licensed for you. So are you trying to get licensed in your name with the city right now, or are you trying to get licensed in this company? Do they know the difference of city, city hall? I don't, maybe they don't. Oh, yeah, because right. I believe that's yeah, yeah, it should be com complicated. Yeah, it should be in my name because I'm the one who took the test and everything. So I believe it, it's in my name. But then now that I'm switching from one company to the next, yeah. we're just Want to make sure we're good with NC Star to pull permits. Doesn't mean you shouldn't get it. I'm just asking. Right. What did you tell them? Did the company register you uh, or register under your name? Is that yeah? How he's part owner, owner of NC Star. Yeah, was the company. Yeah, NC Star. He's not official. Yeah. If that works. And they paid. They paid the renewal. Is that correct? Yeah. So you NSR have, is paid. yeah. We. we but if I, because we, we've had this before, that we said if somebody like you left that company, they are no longer, they don't have that license holder working for them anymore. Right. right. That yeah. company does. Because it doesn't necessarily have to be the owner that has the license, you know, no. the license. Right. You know, so yeah, so you're, that, that have to be a note or something saying to the city that the city needs to contact the, the, your, the company you're leaving that they no longer license in Michigan City to okay. do that. Okay. Right? You know what that is? Yeah. So we have to makes sense. So. That makes sense. Right. And add the other, the company that you are moving to, to your license. Right. So I think. It needs to be added to the right. list. Yeah. So just to make sure 
when you're applying for a permit, they know that that company is licensed now because of you. Right. You know, so I just want to make sure that you don't have an overlap yeah. of two companies are applying for a permit. Yeah. Right. And that's one right. of them is not licensed. We're NSR is not going to be pulling any more permits. So we're, we're definitely shutting that one down and splitting up the assets. It's like oh, going through, I see. Going through yeah. divorce yeah. and oh, I see. my family's helping me out. We're starting a new company. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. I thought you were, I thought you were just leaving one company and going to another. Oh no, that one's okay. getting okay. put down. That's and, even so. more clear. Yeah. I think the only hang up I we don't have a hang up here is yeah. what I'm hearing when you listen to a motion here or whatever it takes, but I think the only thing you want to make clear with the city is that, you know, there is no longer an NSR and that in, just in case they require you to, to to pay another fee or something for the new company. That's, that's fine. You know, yeah. But you're going to have to tell them that as far as the license goes. I'll, I'll make a motion that um, you can transfer the license from that company to the other company that you referenced. Sorry, could you name the net? And NC Stars. The NC Stars. Yep. Okay. Is that the new company? That's the new company. Okay. Okay. Yeah. A second. All right. Motion is made. Second that um, we now is licensed, be true. licensed for NC Star. Okay. And then uh, Thank you. we'll make a note that. Maybe send a, a note to the planning department. Yeah, you know. yeah, the, the NSNCR is no longer. Yeah. Well, so, uh, this, this young man do not have paperwork with us now. He goes back to the city. How does the city know what we just said? Because you're going to contact the city. It's going to be straight. That's where the note will be. All right, very good. Because the other company is dissolved. Yes. So it's not. I believe that's the way we'll handle it. Yes. Awesome. Not sure. sure if it's wrong, they'll let me know. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> thank you, guys. All right, thank you. We were running that before, but we worried about the other thing where somebody knew and then the company keep operating with no sure. license. But in your case, that didn't happen. Mm -hmm. okay. So we got a motion made second round that we're going to select. Any questions on the motion? If not, all in favor? Aye. So moved. Thank you. All right. Good luck. Good luck. Have a good night. You too. Yeah. A little <clears throat> different, but it works. Yes, sir. I move over here. You speak also the general contractor, Wolf to be everything here. I'm here, I'm building my own home in Michigan City. And uh, I originally, when I filed for the application, uh, I was going to use Blitz Electric to do my electrical work. They are still shown as current. Uh, he had submitted for the renewal of his application, and it, it was returned to him saying it was submitted late. Uh, we don't know the day he actually submitted it and how long it sat in the inspection before they ever got around to looking at it. And now they they told him he has to go back through the whole process again in order to get relicensed, which he really doesn't want to do. It's a hassle. But and I have an issue because I'm building my own house, and I thought that's fine. Do the work myself or pull my own electrical or permit. Well, the city no longer allows any individual to do any mechanical work, either electric, plumbing, or HVAC to their own home themselves. Let's start over again. What was your name? Did you get Steve Wilson? Steve Wilson. Okay. Okay, and, and the, the electrical company was Blitz Electric. Blitz Electric. Steve's been a uh, builder in the area forever. 20 years. Yeah. I guess the only thing I can, uh, not knowing what's going on here, I guess that's part of it. If the rules are if he didn't renew by February 1, and renew his license and or hasn't used that license in the last couple of years. Yes. Then he then he has to start over. Well, but 
the issue is when it was submitted could very well have been before February 1 and it sat there and nothing happened because there's no dates of no nothing and his initial submission would return to him saying it's too late he's missed the cutoff well, when did he get that letter I mean we're talking this is this is not it was a mail letter there was no dates no nothing on it, it just got mailed back to him <clears throat> well quite honestly that's not what we're here for um, we'd have to get more information from the inspection department, the planning department. They don't log anything in. You just, you know. They, well, they should have had a check uh, from him dated before February 1st. Which they didn't cash, so they sent that back and at that point mm -hmm. tore it off. The, I wouldn't even be here yeah. for him if it wasn't for the fact that my house is now sitting there. I can't move forward. Because I can't get an electrical permit. She won't inspect it, nothing will happen. So now it's sitting there. Doesn't matter whether the work's done. They're saying the individual homeowner, which is all news to me, is no longer allowed to do work on their own home. Well, again, that's not part of what happens here. I get that. You know, all we're here to do is approve a, a, a license for. for Contracting mechanical and electrical contract. Well, what about why he that? why he didn't why they didn't process it? You know, I can't answer that. That's got to come out of the other room, unfortunately. We really have no well who power oversees, who oversees that aspect. Well, Sue Downs is the, the, the building inspector or administrator. Um and I don't know who at this point is in the office collecting those things i just know that according to the ordinance our hands are tied if, if he did not register by february 1st our hands are kind of tied so if there's proof it was submitted before february 1st yeah but for some reason they sent a check back and an application right they did not approve it she whatever no made she opened no it no up must have been after february 1st well, like our chairman is saying there, that's really kind of out of our jurisdiction there. Well, we don't really have anything we can, can help you with. We'd like to, but. That's fine. I just he had talked to me the first night before this, and I told him the same thing. The first, the first part was about the license, and I just told him if it was overdue, it was overdue. You know, you have to prove that they, you'd have to prove that, that, that they sent it in before then. So I, I don't know. There's something missing. But then there's this October, and this well, then, <laughs> right. well, this the second part is is I, I think they got caught working over without a license. For, for the electrical. Something not right. And then, so he decided, because I guess this is going to be his personal house. And oh, she, so he said, well, I'm just going to do it myself. And now she won't let him. Because he, she thinks he's just going to sell it because that's, because he's a builder, you know. Well, I was going to say, because I don't, I thought so it's not, it was, that was for land holders that, you know, I've, I've got an apartment building, I want to do my own electrical work. You can't you do can, that, but yes. it was his own personal home. Right. That was going to be okay. And he's saying now that the city's telling you can't at your own house. That you, have, that you can't, you, it doesn't matter. Like, he, yeah, he's saying you can't. I didn't think that was. It, I, I don't, that doesn't sound right, but, you know. That doesn't sound right to me. But yeah, I, I told him that we went, I told him exactly what you guys said. Simple fix. Fire yeah. current electric. Problem gone away. But I did, but, oh, I, I, told him, but I, I told him the same thing, so I'm, I'm not sure. Trying to be argumentative or anything. But. Yeah, I'm not either. It just it, it's out of our hands. You're probably right. I, I bet you. I bet you somebody got caught. caught. Might be right there. Yeah. yeah. For but some I, reason. If, if he's done electrical work in the past around, why would he wait for right. February or October or something? Something not yeah. making a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. But well, we, I don't, from what I from what I understand, the electrician. From what I understand, he started to work. Why that electrician? He stopped. Why is he not here? Right. 
I would just love to see the person. You know, it was the first thing I was going to ask you. And I thought, I'm going to They're just doing their job. All right. Well, I think uh, yeah, we'll see what happens from there. No other public comment. Any other, anything else? If not, motion to adjourn. Seconds. Made, seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. Aye.